Let's take a long, deep breath and bring ourselves into the Spirit's presence so that we can be receptive to what may be revealed to us. To listen with the ear of our heart as the fifth century Saint Benedict so wisely counsels. Now on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that had taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up, and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. The road to Emmaus can really be understood as a paradigmatic image of the formational process. The oftentimes confused information we have to deal with in our heads, the gradual and even dramatic change that can take place when we see and allow the Spirit into our being, our heart, and how this can become a transformational process whereby we want to share and be love and service in the world to others and in the world. Our hands, our feet. Information, formation, transformation. This connection between meaning and purpose is the essence of what this parable calls us to.